Alright, Gregor I return here with the Prometheus Initiative lying on Walker's floor at Magos Ranch. It's Magos? Mago? Or Mago? Uh, it refers to it. It's another term to Gaia. Anyways, I'm still here in Sedona. Uh, tried to leave. Was planning to leave a couple days ago, but we sort of got snowed in. You know, we didn't snow here, but snowed in West Sedona. You know, wasn't much snow. But we were planning on actually head back home to Maine. Our intuition has been calling us there. And gonna go home for the summer. However, good news, I ended up having a long phone call with David Sarita. You know who David Sarita is? He's a free energy researcher located here in Sedona. He's friends with Walker. He was really interested in my research and possibly interested in having me on his discovery show that's coming out, coming together, that he's going to be hosting. It's not official yet, but it's, um, he's doing free, to showcase free energy research and, uh, and over UD devices and really other efficient motors. Um, and he said he watched all my YouTube videos, I'm not sure he watched all of them, so there's a bit. Um, but he really liked what I had to, had to say and my concepts and ideas, and we collaborated on some things over the phone. And he's actually had to go hang out with Jamie Bertuff, who he was, t um, to, who's another free energy researcher in Sedona, who I tried contacting once through YouTube. Um, and he never got back to me. However, I'm supposed to be going over to Jamie's house tomorrow, and hooking up this beautiful little thing to his beautiful little power supply and we're gonna run some experiments and see what happens so some cool things are manifesting however thanks to David he gave me a cool concept to try and it's working beautifully in terms of how this thing can amplify things so I will take these two little nozzles you are seeing you're getting a few little millivolts out of me alternating current back and forth these are millivolts and now, uh, attach them to this coil. Nothing. This line. Nothing. That was line A, and this is line B. Now going from A to B. Nothing. Sometimes uh, it can pick up like movement. You see it jump to one. It's just sort of picking up an EM field. Now, if I take me, I'm getting a little bit. Now, I'm going to grab this. Boom! Look at that amp jumping up. It depends almost how I touch it. And there we go. Wow. We're getting 200 up there. Now I'm back down to 2. So, let's say, looking at this, I'm averaging 20 millivolts. Alright? Is my average. Um, actually, I've been doing about 25 here. And I touch my rotating coil and it will spike depending on how I'm touching it up to 200 and so this coil alone there's no electricity going into this thing so it's my own body voltage this is the real human effect and seeing how much it's amplifying now we're getting 180, 160, 170 um, if you think about 170 as the upper average um, then this guy is actually, oh, there you go, look at that, I'm touching the actual sort of coil, we're getting 300, so 25, you're looking at a thousand percent increase of my bioelectricity through my body, a thousand percent, that is ridiculous, redonkulous, you can really compute that, um, that is really cool concept. Um, if you can hook yourself up to this a little bit more efficiently, you can only imagine what you can do with this. Um, uh, sky's the limits. So yeah, tomorrow hopefully I can have show you some cool stuff. Maybe we, I'll be able to record something at Jamie's and show you what this coil can actually do. But yeah, awesome. Ooh, 349. That's high. It's very high. That's um, that's like a third of a volt. <sighs> That's pretty cool. Adios, my friends. Have a good one.